Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Juliet, and if you are one of my lovely subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm gonna to be talking you through my everyday makeup and doing a little bit of a get ready with me. I will link everything below, but I really hope you enjoy this. So let's get straight into today's video. Okay, so back to when I've got zero makeup on and let's get this started. So I've had a shower as you can see, and while my hair is drying, I'm going to show you what I use every day. Let me just catch my breath. I put the ring light in the window so you can see natural light. This is my bag that I've been using, which I love by the way. It's from, I got it through Look, from Look Fantastic, but it's actually by Flat Lake O London. And this is a pe peach, I think, or was it pink? But I love this because you can draw string it all up, but then it opens up flat so you can see all your makeup um and i find this really really useful you got can you see down there it opens up so anyway yes let's get started so the first thing i'll go through is skincare now i am before i start this video let me just say i'm not a makeup expert at all and also um that's better i'm not a makeup expert at all for the record and also i'm not a skincare expert and also i'm pretty basic when it comes to my makeup there are a few things that have kind of come into my makeup routine over the last couple of years for sure but i tend to stick to things that i love things that i know and the reason being i find if you find something that suits your skin why change it there's so much out there that you can try but i just try to stick to the same thing now I do love the ordinary products and I normally used to use the hyaluronic acid but I have run out of it but recently I've been using this what well, you can see it's pretty much almost gone now so this is the will it focus this is the Garnier vitamin C brightening serum and I you and I use this and I've used this for quite some time as you can see it's almost gone now and I find this it's just really nice in the skin it smells beautiful and it's really really hydrating so this is the thing I put on first and just to give my skin that moisture I have like combination skin but I find my forehead and my t-zone get really dry and I also get dry patches like on my cheeks but then I get like a really oily chin so I just try and, try and stick to things that are just really nice and hydrating um because i just feel like it balances my skin out a bit more so yeah i use this um and this has got vitamin c niacinamide and salicylic acid so niacinamide i believe is like really good for balancing skin tone and blemishes that's what that does for sure if you use hyaluronic acid you should use that first and it's good to use on wet skin i have been told in the past by you lovely guys um, and then the next thing I use, which is like my holy grail in my makeup bag, is the Lacora Rose Oil from Aldi. Now, I use, I've got about seven of the, focus, I've got about seven of these. Um, I've properly stocked up because I love this stuff. Now, oil isn't for everybody. Obviously, if you've got oily skin, the last thing you want to do is be putting more oil on your skin. But I find that just, just works really, really well for me. I really love... Um, the dewy look i love to look um i don't like a dry face like i don't like the look of that like a matte face i like to look glowy and dewy and i find that the oil just goes on my skin really nice and i also find that when i put my foundation on over the top of the oil that also um goes on really well on top i also like to rub it into my lips because i think it's really nourishing for my lips um and yeah and yeah that is the oil so that is the oil that i use really reasonably priced i think the serum is about 15 pounds if that it's probably around the 10 pound price point and the oil i think is about five pound from aldi so nice and affordable so now moving on to um my so i always do my skin next um i look really pale in this light in this daylight I promise I don't look that pale in real life. Um, although I probably could do with fake tanning, couldn't I? Anyway, the foundation that I use, which I don't always use foundation on a daily basis. I try not to wear foundation in the week um, or if I'm not going anywhere, like if I'm only doing the school run and stuff or going to do the shopping, I don't wear foundation. But when I do, I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now, this is a bit more pricey, 
but I have found I've tried a lot of foundations this is one of the nicest foundations I've ever found I use it in shade 6 um, I don't think they've got names but it's just shade 6 and I just really really love this foundation I find the shade really nice for me like if I've got a tan if I've not got a tan it seems to just go really well so I love this I obviously do it really professionally as I always say <laughs> with my fingers um I'm not one for a beauty blender if I'm honest um I just like to use my fingers I don't see the harm I like to be able to rub it in almost like a, a face cream and it's probably the wrong way to do it but you know what it works for me so that's what I do I'm just going to put a little mirror here actually because I've got no mirror in front of me I should have bought my mirror up uh, that's that and then I'll use a little bit more on my forehead I really should get a mirror up here because I cannot see what I'm doing but yeah that is the foundation on it's like I say it blends really well it's a really nice colour um, and it just the one thing I love about this is it's very lightweight very dewy but it's also buildable so I'll just put like one layer on now if I was to go out maybe I could build it up a little bit more but one layer is more than enough just to perfect my skin and get rid of any blemishes concealer so again i don't really use a lot of concealer the only thing i use concealer for is under my eyes and i will either use the maybelline eraser which again is a really good price point it's about 10 pounds or i use the giorgio armani concealer now this is a bit more expensive it's a bit more pricey but it's the same formula as the foundation I use mine in shade 4, which is just two shades lighter. Now, what I will say is, um, yes, it's a lovely concealer. I love that it is the same formula as my foundation. I love that. However, what I would say is I don't necessarily think it's worth paying the extra for this. Like, it's not... For the amount more it is than, say, like the eraser, I don't think it's worth that extra bit. Um, but it is nice to have a concealer that is the same as the foundation and it is really nice I do love it would I buy it again um, if I run out no I'd probably just get a cheaper version a cheaper foundation a cheaper concealer right moving on to bronzer now another thing that I love to use which is like more on the luxury end is the by Terry CC serum this is in shade sunny flash and if I do use this I will use it on my sunspots around my forehead down my cheekbones and under my jawline but I tend not to use this that much and I'll tell you why this actually does cause me to break out a little bit I have found I don't know whether it is this but when I say break out I find that if I do get any spots it's after I've used this a lot so I tend to only use this if I'm going out 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 um and then why well, other thing that I use the Poundland Good To Glow Bronze Shimmer in Shimmer Medium 4. However, I really struggle getting hold of this um, anymore, so I don't know if they've discontinued it. But for £1, this bronzer is probably one of the nicest bronzers I've used. And if I'm honest, why would I spend way more when I can spend a pound and get the same result out of this bronzer? So I use this powder bronzer. I just use my Spectrum brushes that I have, which I've had for a long time now. And I do top around my forehead, cheekbones, and under here. I like to blend my foundation down, especially if, like now, I'm a little bit paler than my foundation. So just blend that out a little bit. And that is fun. And that is everything. So the next thing is highlighter. Now I love the iconic illuminator drops, but these are very, very illuminating and again really dewy so I tend to use these if I'm using the by Terry CC serum and go all out on the glow but on a day-to-day -day basis I just use my Elamasqua highlighter again something that's more expensive but I've had this I've probably had this about three years now and look at the pan it's still like there's hardly any used out of it it's so pigmented it goes it's, it's worth the money I think because it just lasts forever and then all i do is get a tiny bit and i put it on my nose and on the bridge i focus on the bridge of my nose and on the tip like so i focus on my cupid's bow i always put some across there 
I put some in the corner of my eyes to brighten my eyes up, just tap, dab some there, and then a little bit under my brow bone. And then sometimes I will also just put a little bit up here, but if I'm honest, I don't go all out on the illuminator anymore and the highlighter, I just, less is more, just like a nice everyday look. Okay, so next up, let's go brows. Now, brows, I'm very lucky. I've had my brows tattooed. So these are, let's see if I can get close to you. These tattoos are ombre blush brows and they are tattooed on to perfection. This is probably the worst light to be in because it's really, really bright outside. So I'm just trying to get in as close as possible for you to see. But I have zero brows, right? And these brows are phenomenal. The lady that did these, she's actually working from home now. And I did a video on them, which I will leave the link here. And I also have a discount code for you to get them done. Her name is Mariam. She's based pretty local to me. She's in based in like Will and Allway. So if you are near there, honestly, I can't recommend her enough. So my brows, because they're amazingly tattooed on, I don't actually need to do a lot to them. But since I've had my hair a bit darker, the only thing I do use is some of this Slay the Brow. Again, Poundland. So there you go, Slay the Brow. And I use this in shade Brunette. Now, again, guys, you don't have to spend over the odds on things. I think if sometimes their more expensive things are still made in the same manufacturers sometimes so really don't think that just because the label and the price you pay is for quality um because like i say some things in my makeup bag are expensive and i would highly recommend them but then other things i just think that one's just as good so yeah so with this i'll just put a tiny bit at the front and i just use this to color my natural hairs so my tattoo is actually perfect I don't need um, this for colour as such. Um, it's more, well, I do need it for colour, but it's more for my natural hair. So I actually use this to colour my natural hairs. Can you see there? That is what I use this for because my hairs themselves are really blonde. So I just use this to colour my natural hairs. Um, no more. I don't have to do anything else because the shape is already perfect. So I just pop that on like a, that. I find that this lasts all day for me. Like when I take my makeup off at night, it's still there. So pound bargain. So that is brows done. I'm almost there. It normally takes me like five minutes to do this in the morning. And then the next thing that I do that I already normally have done is my eyelashes. So if you're new to my channel, I own my own eyelash company called Glow Up Beauty. And these are the lashes that I wear. So these last me probably up to two weeks i change i do do them a lot more regularly because obviously i own the company so i can change the lashes whenever i want to and i can get lazy sometimes and not clean them but these ones actually on the bottom across here have actually been worn and cleaned and are ready to go back on these are the glam lashes so what these are are semi-permanent lashes you apply them under the lash line using two adhesives and you can wear them in the shower, you can go swimming in them, you can wear them on holiday, you can do whatever you want with them. So like I say, these are the glam lashes. I'll quickly, let me go and grab an elegance and I'll show you an elegance lash. So these are the elegance lashes, they're still in the case so it's hard to see. Um, but you can just see how the glam lashes are a lot thicker and fuller compared to the elegance. They're like a lot more wispy. Um, I always used to wear the wispy ones, the elegance ones. And then I started using these and I just got converted like completely converted somebody asked me for something a little bit more dramatic and i um bought these lashes into the line and then i just can't go back <laughs> so yeah these are the glam lashes and i'm going to quickly apply these i will um do it on camera so you can see how they work but i have got another video but i have got another video that shows how they go on but all you need to apply them is if you buy us buy my starter kit you get in there everything you need to apply them so you get a white glue a black glue the applicator you get a coating which i don't think i've got one here to show you um which takes away any sticky if you use too much glue and then obviously you get whatever lashes you pick the elegance or the glam and then this is how you apply them so you grab your black glue now this can be used very sparingly but i haven't got very many lashes anyway it's just like my hair very sparse so you just pop the black glue onto your natural lashes, like so. 
as I'm a pro, I just do both lashes at the same time now. But if you're new to it, you might want to do like one eye at a time. Those are the lashes. Now you can see my own lashes there. A lot of people say, do they damage your lashes? I think if you're putting anything on your lashes that shouldn't be on there. If you were to wear strip lashes every day, it probably would damage your lashes. Um, but I still have lashes. They are still there, as you can see. They're just cack. <laughs> They're crap. They've always been crap. I've always used to, I always used to use strip lashes before I found these, so these are what I use now. So you've got your black glue on, you let that kind of sit, settle, dry a little bit so it's going tacky. And then while it's settling, you get your white glue ready and your applicator and your lashes. Now with the lashes, these are they've already been used once these ones so let me just i'm just checking them all as i put them on um these lashes are in varying varying they vary in size they go from a small lash to a long lash and that is so it gives a nice natural effect but you apply them under the lash line like that that's the small one that's the 10 mil then So you've got the 10 mil, then this is a 12 mil. Another 12 mil. I always overlap a little bit as well for longevity. I find that that works well. 12 mil. And then I actually pick another 12 mil from the other set because I have one, I like to put one extra on. Um, but that's the beauty of these, you can put like as many on or as little on as you like. To like make the lashes look however you want. And then the final one is a 14 mil, which again you don't have to use if you don't want to. You could just pinch another 12 mil from the other set if you didn't want a long end lash. But I think it's nice to have a long end lash to like just open your eye up a little bit. And that's that, that is done. So now I'm going to do the other one, it's still tacky. So then you do the same thing, you get your little one like i say i motor with them now like i'm so quick um the first time you do them they can be a little bit more tricky to get hang of but i've been doing them for that long now i could probably do them in my sleep final one And that is my lashes done. Bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle. Now I'm just gonna like give them a little bit of a squeeze. So you just get your applicator and squeeze them. Now the applicator follows the contour of your eyelid, so it's nice and easy to use. It's not sharp, it hasn't got any sharp edges at all. Um, it's just nice and rounded, so it's nice and safe. For your eye, there's not gonna be any poking. Okay, so that is my lashes done, and that is my makeup done. The only other thing that I might use sometimes is I really, really do love this iconic London lip oil. Um, I think it's called lip oil. Does it? What does it say? Luster lip oil, um, and this is the shade Out of Office. This is the shade Out of Office. Uh, out of Office, which is basically clear. <laughs> um. And I just, do you know why I love this? It's not sticky like a gloss. It's because it's it's kind of like a, a hybrid between a gloss and an oil. So it's not super, super tacky. Also, I really love the, the applicator on this. Um, it's not, ooh, I really love the applicator on this. It's not your standard doe foot. It's like a peanut kind of shape. Don't know what the, don't know what the technical term of that is. But I don't wear lipstick uh, because it just doesn't look right on me. Um, but I like But I like either just wearing like a gloss or an oil. To be honest, I carry around like a um, Car Carmex. Are they called Carmex? Lip balm in my pocket all the time. And that tends to be what I wear because lipstick just doesn't look right on me. And um, the only other things that sometimes I wear is the Iconic London. Again, 
the liquid blush i do really like these now this color looks really striking in the packet and it does when you put you put it on your fingers this is power pink but I, and, it, and when you put, get it out actually onto your hand it's very um very very pink mm, you gonna focus it's very very pink but if you do want a bit of color on your cheeks i do recommend this liquid blush because it is just it gives just a tiny tiny pop of color on the apple of your cheeks and it's just nice again like nice and dewy can you just see the difference like it's the tiniest tiniest bit of color um i use a tiny amount literally couldn't be more subtle if i tried but i think sometimes like i say less is more okay, and that is it that is everything i use on my face that is my everyday makeup um i really hope you enjoyed watching i'm just going to pop down now and finish my hair's been drying while i've been sat here so i'm just going to dry my hair off put a curl through it and i'll be back and there we have it okay i've just quickly put i've dried my hair and then i just use my straighteners to like put curls through and then kind of brush it through i need to do this bit again but um yeah that is me done now and these curls will last me anyway for a few days but yeah that is it that is my everyday look and i'm still a bit bleached up here but yeah that is it that is my everyday look and i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so i know to make this kind of content again and if i would love for you to hit that little subscribe button down there in red somewhere it really helps me and my channel out it helps build this community that we've got here so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything I can below in the description box. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you when I can. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.